Welcome to another episode of Catch Up and this episode is going to be a little bit different because now we have a teacher and a past student. What? Mr. The Honorable Mr. Keith Lakeman, yeah, the a, legend. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> not the boy that I wrote here, but the boy that I went to Manning's and also was a past student you know, and a t past teacher is very great. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So give us, we don't even know when you left Jamaica, so from when did you leave Manning's and how did you come over here? All right, so I taught at Manning's from 90 to 98. 98, I was growing up as an only child, my mom leave me in Jamaica. I just received a letter from um, the college in New Jersey yes. that I need to attend. So I just pack up ship and just row. Go to New Jersey? Yeah. You've been there ever since? How many ever years since. now in New Jersey? 20 years. 20 years? 20 years. So back in Mannings, how many, which subjects did you teach? Uh, 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 a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. At college, I did uh, maths and science. Mm -hmm. But at Manning's, my major subject was computer science and a little maths. And a little maths. Mm -hmm. So I think you were my computer science and math teacher. And math teacher, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so now in the U.S. and New Jersey, do you have, tell us about your family. Kids, married, what? What's, oh. what's your current situation? Married. Married. Yeah, happily married. Happily uh, married. Happily married, yeah. Three kids, two for the wife. Uh, one is with me here, my son is with me, he's like my arm, um, Pit. So he can walk, <laughs> he's here, you know? But, yeah. Mm. And what do you do for work here in Jersey? The big company, Verizon. Aye. Uh, yeah, the, so, in corporate? Uh, yeah, in corporate. You yeah. like it? Yeah. Uh. You see, it's stressful because it's in the office and I, I'm a person who likes to roam, you know? Yes. But... What is yeah, it like the, adjusting from... Listen, man, when you, were, when you were at Manning's, you were a force to be reckoned with. That's what I heard, you know. I heard that students were afraid of men I didn't know. <laughs> I, I met a young lady at a... When I just came here, I went to a party, and a young lady was staring at me, and I was wondering why the young lady was staring at me, you know? But I was happily laughing, chatting, and everything, and all of a sudden, the young lady walked over and said, Yeah, Mr. Lakeman, I said, yes. So I was shocked now, you know, thought I did something wrong. So, yeah, Mr. Lakeman, I said, yes. He said, sir, I didn't know you laughed. That's what you mean, sir. We were scared of you. We see you coming down this corridor. We run. Yes. But I, you, I, I, I didn't know that you of, were of myself. We, 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 your words were like an atomic bomb. Boom! Totally annihilate. You have to pick up your little self to pieces and just try to get on with your day. Well, well, maybe, maybe because of Mr. Coot, you know, Mr. Yes. Coot used to say you, 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 you teach, you wrap, but you know, wrap up. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, with the kids, you know, I don't wrap up with them, but I wrap with them, you know. Yeah. Your name has come up in a couple of our videos. Really? And I'm not going to say anything. You just have to watch the episodes and find out how you popped up. So how, 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 how can I get that first episode? Because <laughs> We're going to be putting it out on YouTube really? and also on Facebook. But if you Google Nakia Salmon, you're going to find all the videos on YouTube. Okay, okay. So, okay. hobbies, what do you do for fun? All right. So right now, you hear the music playing in the background? Yes. Yeah, that's my love. Yes. I, I, back home, I used to do that. I just started rebuilding my system, started buying equipment and getting everything, you know. So this is the first time putting the equipment together and playing out. So Wow, yeah, so. that's your And thing. yeah, and I go to church, um, I help with the other video system in the church too. So therefore, mm. if I'm in New York and I have to shoot some things, I can always recruit so you to always help. Because yeah. I know I have to come back and make another trip for people who couldn't yeah, come uh, to this thing here. All the video, that's always, because um, when I was at college, um, the principal, um, have me was the person who trained me cts ct whatever it was um send me some send me some course there and that's where i get involved with in, um, the mic and the video and everything so tell me so what subject because you taught a few was your favorite to teach and computer tell me why. science yes why um it was new in that uh, when i went to college i did math and science but mm -hmm. um the principal again which was there loved me so in the summer programs i used to there was a college at you know, Central Connecticut University. Yeah. Used to come down and te have computer science courses. Yes. And she allowed me to, do, to be, although I was a student, it was for teachers, I was a student then, she allowed me to do that. So leaving um, and getting the job, because of that background, instead of maths and science, they give me maths and computer science. And I started the lab. 
at Manning I High remember. School. Yeah, I remember. Um, that lab. When I started teaching there, um, there were two computers there where she was outdated and I decided, you know, I said, Mr. Jackson, I can't teach with these computers. I'll teach the practice and um, the theory, but the practical, when the students go like to UA or whatever, they'll they'll learn it, but I can't teach because there's nothing that I can with you it. You don't have the hardware. And then I decided to venture out and try to get some equipment. So I started the evening class. Yes. And the evening class, I didn't collect the money for myself. It goes through the school and the school. I get them to, to procure, procure computers. computers. And I remember when I built a lab and I carpeted, Mr. Jackson was like, wow. oh, you can't be in a carpet room and I don't do it. And so some of the money went and carpet the principal office. Yeah, so. Wow. Yeah, so that's why it's one of my you know, favorite things because of what I put in for Manning School, you know? Yeah. I didn't know that, man. Yeah. When we were sitting in that lab. Lab, yeah. The evening class. Even classes. Yeah. So like, memories. So when you look back at Manning, what's your favorite memories at being at Manning? Student or teacher? Because remember, I'm both. I want both. All right. So as a student, what did, what was your favorite memory? And then give it to me from there. Favorite memory was, um, and I was just talking about this in church um, yesterday. Um, this guy at the end of the school year, we usually come together in the in the in the. Um, auditorium have our last service there and go home and one of my friends when we're going home say say donkey man and i was like donkey man but i didn't know it was someone in the name and the guy look around and you know tall about six feet i was short ran after me and everyone knew i was speedy gun darling because i used to run for mannings i take off you know forget about it wow. christmas went back to school the january and at break I'm in second form, the guy's in fifth form. Break time, this guy just come down and start to beat me. Just start to beat me. And the same guy that you give him the name say, Mr. Lehman, grab him. I can't use that word, you know, because I'm on, on candy camera. And I <laughs> grab him and I grab him and I, and I grab him and I squeeze. You know? I feel my toe cut you and I squeeze. And I see him and I squeeze. And the guy start to cry. And I let him go and him run. And that was the pleasure of it. I get I get expelled. <laughs> So going back to teacher now, uh, when I leave college, I was like, okay, you know what? Only one school I'm, I'm putting my application to, Mannings. Put it to Mannings, waiting, 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 no call. So the week before school opened, I decided, okay, I'm going to go on the road with my application to the other school. Walking, I see this bicycle guy going down the road. I said, wonder if he's going to my home. I look, he was going to my home, so I went went back and look and say he was like what oh yes here it is you have to, um, they accept you to come in and do an interview went to the interview the principal going through the thing and was like principal look at me and said oh, what are you going to teach i said math and science he said no 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 what are you going to teach i said math and science no what are you going to teach i said sir what are you talking about sir look at my application math and science he said no you're going to teach a student to fight i said what do you mean so i said all i see is suspension <laughs> <laughs> but because I was in sports, he wanted me to help out with the sports, you know. Yes. Yeah, and so he came me. Yeah. So those, those were the good times, you know. Yeah. So, Mr. Lakeman, you have you it's almost as if you had different lives to me. But what do you used to believe about yourself that now you look back, especially at this season of your life, and you're like, nah, that wasn't true, or something that you used to believe that now changed about you and this is what i think change about me is that um i'm not that hot tempered person again yes yeah i'm more temperament maybe growing up and with the job that i'm in yeah it leaves me a lot you know learn to appreciate listen to people yes. and, uh, yeah mm -hmm. interesting mm -hmm. So, how would you describe your personality back in the day when you were a young teacher? And what words you describe and how you describe your personality today? It's the same, you know, but kids did not understand me. Yeah. It's the same, yeah. Mr. Lehman is always a happy, cheerful, laughing person. It's, as, as I say, you rap, but you don't wrap up. So, when it's school time, mm -hmm. it's school time. If you catch me after school, you see the real Mr. Lehman, yeah. Because um, that's where most of these kids that were here, they yes. know me. Those who weren't at, at, on the campus after school, they, they, they didn't see the other side of me. But 
if you sit down and talk with me, he's the same person. He's the same, right? The same person. It's just that, you know, you have to be at a certain level when you teach, um, talking to students or dealing with students because if not, they're going to be one take step on you. So that was just it. Yeah. If, what advice would you give to students who are now in high school? Let's take the fifth formers. Mm -hmm. What advice would you give them? All right. I would give them the same advice that I, I told my mother and she didn't accept, okay? Don't let your parents decide for you. All right, it's not everybody can be a doctor, not everybody can be a lawyer. All right, so in early, you know what you want to do. So just don't let people force you into what you don't want to do because that's when you, 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 you see you're going to see the, the, Problems. the problem because you have three self. Yes. Who you are, what people see you are, and what you want to be. Yes. You understand me? And so if you're, if you're not what you want to be, that's where the mentality is going to come in and you, you know yeah Understood. so just try to be what, what you, you, want. you want to be and you know that's the what i think you're no, you're not I say, you gonna do science are no. you gonna do and that's what's it because yeah. let me give you a joke and my if my mother sees this, this is she's gonna beat me but this, this was something <laughs> okay? on YouTube, um uh growing up uh, my mom was a nurse so you know nurse was people well respected all right yes, yes. so this boy here decided you know he wanted to do four subjects. My mother, no, eight subjects. Everybody, all the nurses, children do eight subjects. I said, no, mommy, I want to do four subjects. My mom said, eight subjects. Eight subjects. I was like, okay. I did eight subjects. I get seven, three. One grade one. In that time, three wasn't a pass. I went to Manning School. I said, Miss Maggie, Miss Maggie said, boy, you get seven, three. I saw my hoodland. <laughs> I was like, it's big. It's my mother's fault because if I didn't do a subject and I did four, I would be better grade. And that's what I'm trying to tell students. You know, if you know, parents wanted wanted to do that, but you know what you can do. So you yeah, will do what you can do. Huh? What are you most proud of, Mr. Lakeman? My kids. My kids. Yes. Seeing them, yeah, yeah. My kids. Uh, seeing them grow up and they emulate me. They they respect me. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yesterday I was at church and 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 and, and somebody said um, I am I'm, I'm working with your daughter. I said it's my daughter, and she turned around and said, "Guess what happened? I have to listen to my daddy because I live at his home. I drive his car. He's still doing everything." So, <laughs> yeah, so uh, 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 kids, uh, awesome. Yeah. So, what does success mean to you? Helping. Yes. Helping. Yeah. Uh, I. I I, right now, I don't see myself above anybody. Yeah, uh, uh, people say you know you're, you're you're in a good job and everything, but I don't. I came here today um, on the same level as everyone else. Uh, you know, nothing, nothing different, like nothing changed. Knocking up. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see you. You understand? I expect you to come over and say yeah. Uh, yeah, we, we we're we're good friends at Manning School. We talk, we're good students. You understand me? Yes. yes uh, success. So uh, you don't think I'm gonna be coming coming? Ah, uh, hey. Uh, do you remember? No, 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 no. I know Mr. Lehman. That Mr. Lehman. Oh I felt like I was in trouble. My yes. back was straight immediately. Yes, yes Mr. Okay. Lehman. Call you. <laughs> Last question yes. for you. When you die, what do you want people to remember about Keith Lehman? The computer science teacher. <laughs> Yeah. 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 You know, th those th those memories, you know, really put back. You know, I miss Manning's, um, because of that. And every time I sit down, I try to, you know, figure out what's going on, and and I follow up, and I still see they still um the past students still sending computers down there. That's good. You understand me? And That's a I started man. not only Manning's, the police force, yeah. the health department. The, 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 what do they call it? Health, health, the, those, those people used to wear the brown uniform. Yes, yes. And the nurses, the evening class, I teach all of those things. Yes, that. yes. So I used to teach parents and students because I still teach the students in the day and the parents in, in the afternoon. Yeah, so, yeah, so Manning, when they come on to, um, when they come on to computer in, yes. in Savlama, I started it and right that's there. Your legacy. Yeah. And that's my legacy. Yeah. And, yeah. and if you talk, Mr. Anderson is down there now. Because he was the person I um, I bought it. Um, Norman Anderson. Yes. He, he he just came back from Bahamas. Uh, yes. Yeah. 
and he was the first person that started selling computer yes. and we buy the first business, three computers business, what, automation business automation and i was also teaching at his, his, his place yeah yeah oh i was teaching at and teaching at their part time yeah business automation so yeah. what are we going to end this yeah. episode mr lakeman thank you so much for sitting with us thank you for having me oh my gosh so please like this video share this video subscribe to our channel and thank you for joining us for another episode of catch up bye oh. <laughs>